I don't understand what I just went through to set this up. Okay. Okay, so now that I'm all set up, hey everyone, welcome back. It's your girl Reed, and I'm back with another video. Whew, and I'm heating up because. I just tried to do a whole bunch. I got to buy a whole bunch of stuff. Can somebody donate something? Somebody donate something because my setup is starting to get real horrible. Like my um, thing, tripod, I mean, not my tripod, but my tablet holder is broke. My um, ring light cord exploded on me. Ah, yeah, it's just cut. I'm about to get ready to cry. My table, I need a new nail table, new chair, my back hurt. <coughs> it's just a lot of... <coughs> Thank you. Um, people in my videos. I need somebody to buy me a room that I could do my videos in and y'all won't hear nobody else. <coughs> but anyways, enough of my complaining. Oh, see, I can't even see. <sighs> okay. Listen. I have Roslyn's new gel polish that I'm spot. See, I can't even do. Really? I have Roslyn's products. We have, um, it's the first of the month, y'all. Well, not the first, but it's the beginning of October. Um, how y'all doing? We might do some, I don't even know what colors these are. So if they not Halloween colors, we might not do no Halloween nails, but we gonna see what colors they sent me. Oh, I thought somebody was calling me. Um, This is how to use the gel products on natural nails and how to use it doing art, but we don't need this. This is for beginners to look at if they need it. So this is a pretty little box. Um, these are 5ml polish bottles by Rosslyn. So we just gonna see what they didn't gave us. Matter of fact, we're gonna use this as, as a swiper to see how these polishes look. So it doesn't have any, it just have like a, excuse my dog. See y'all, if I had a girl cave, I'd be fine. Y'all get nice quiet videos but no i'm on one level no extra rooms to hide so this is co14 oh this is cute this is like a gray okay okay i like that then we have y'all know who black is um c004 let's see what this is Okay. Oh, I like that. That's cute too. These colors would really be great if they were like matted. So that's like a peach color. Then we have C338. Let's see what this is looking like. Okay, okay. This is really cute. This is um like a... What color would you call this? I don't know. Give it like a pink color. Bubblegum pink almost. And then we have this C013. Let's see. Oh, this is a black. Okay, okay. That's real nice. I like that black. And then, oh, sorry. I'm shaking the table. See, this is why I need more sturdy stuff. Especially a table, cause I be shaking it and stuff. Then we have C001. I have a bunch of white and blacks now, which is good. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. What's next? 
we have C005. Can y'all see that? I'm hoping I'm in focus because I can't see the other camera. And, ooh, that's cute. That's like a bubblegum pink right there. I like that. And the next one is C018. Oh, this is giving nude. This is a pretty nude, okay. And we have one more color coming out, C015. I could have sworn I said that already. No, I had C014. Oh, and this is another gray. It's a light gray. Now that's pretty. So guys, um, yeah. We're about to use some of these colors and we're about to just rustling it this video out because I have some Rosalind poly gel that I want to use and we're going to get that. So hold on. this is a little um, drill that I got off of AliExpress a long time ago and this has been working for some time now. I just don't use it anymore for real unless I'm doing a nail video because I have bought a better drill for the shop but yeah I'm using a sander band to cut my nails you want to go from side to side around the cuticle area you can also go on the tip just lightly to shape the nails if you want to skip a step with using a file Just like that. So I take my cuticle ball and I like to push the cuticle back and clean up the cuticle with the cuticle ball. You don't want it on a very high speed, so just keep it on a low speed, like maybe 12 RPMs or something and just go around the cuticle area. Just like that. And I like to use this to get some of the hangnails too, cause I hate hangnails, them things hurt. Spray my hands with dehydrator or alcohol. Let that dry. And as I said before, I really don't want these to stick to my nails. So I'm still gonna um, prime my nails and I'm gonna put a base coat on it so that I could peel these nails off if I wanted to. Some people, uh, before they start, they like to cut the cuticle area, but I like to leave it there and then I um, cut it at the end. So you put the primer on. And I'm gonna go in with my base coat. I have Madame Glam. I haven't tried this base coat with Madame Glam yet because I rarely use base coat for anything unless I'm doing somebody's natural nails, but that's rare, so this won't get used much unless I'm using it for a video or for a client who wants their natural nails done. But we're going to use it on me today. So y'all, if the lighting is bad, I had to cut my other ring light off because I don't have another extension cord to hook that one up to. So we only have one light plus outside light to use for now. All right, boom, just like that. 
and then cure that for 60 seconds. Okay, so that is cured. I really need to get that peel off uh, gel coat. Okay, so I did all of my prepping with the, ah! Oh, that got on the floor with the nail tips off camera. So now it's time to go in with the poly gel. This is a gel brush. Um, it's kind of filthy, so I'm gonna use some alcohol for my slip solution. And I am going to clean it off a little bit. I kept the nails pretty long, just so that the design will look kind of cute, you know? I don't know. Sometimes designs look cute with long nails and sometimes designs look cute with short nails. But I feel like the longer the better because you have more room to like do stuff. This is the nude by Rosslyn that I'm going to be using. And I'm using alcohol as my slip solution because that's all it is, to be honest. It's alcohol. So... Instead of buying slip solution, you can use 99% ECA. So you want to start from the apex of your nail and work your way down. So I put about that much and just get in the pattern. That's all you need to do is pat, pat, pat. So I just wet my brush a little bit. And it's basically like how you would do with acrylics, but you're just not using powder and like, well, you are using liquid alcohol, but it's different. You can work a little bit more with this. It's not drying until you put it under the light. And once it's under the light, it'll be dry. So if you need time to fix something you can fix it without it drying so fast you don't need to worry if you have lumps and bumps because it's not going to dry until you put it underneath the light so i'm just smoothing it out i pushed that over too much i haven't used poly gel in a while y'all so be patient with me because I might move a little slow on this nail, but I get faster once I get to my other nails. Uh, I really like poly gel though, cause no odors, no mess for real. And then, like I said, you could keep working with this stuff. And that's another thing I like about it. Ooh, that look good, okay. I did it in a while, but it look good, you know? You know? Now I'm about to cure that under the light. I really could do all of them. Oh! I touched the top of the light. I really could do all of them at one time to make it faster, but I just wanted to see how I do with this one before I continue all my other nails. But yeah, I'm letting that cure for about 30 seconds. It don't need a full cure yet because I am not done with it. 30 seconds, I feel like it's fine. Long as it's still not soft, like if you push it and it dips in, then you wanna cure it again. So, like I feel like that is fine. And I messed it up right there because I touched the top of the light. But it's okay. So now we're going to take a little bit more back here in the cuticle area. Boom. <laughs> and we just going to work that. Oh, my dog, excuse my dog, y'all. He wants to come in. He don't ever want to be outside. He's an in-house dog. Uh, 
just how you do the cuticle area. Blend that in real good. And I like to clean up a little bit on the sides, you know what I'm saying? And then the cuticle area, because I don't want it to flood the cuticles. I should have never pushed it back so far, but we good, we good. Okay. Okay, so this is the nail right here. How y'all think I did? It's cured when it's making that noise. It's fine. It's good. We'll get back to doing the other ones once I get back. Um, I'm going to wipe off this sticky layer before I leave, though, because it leaves like a sticky layer on top, and I don't want to walk around with hair and cotton all over my nail. So, I'm just cleaning that off. And then, boom. <laughs> boom, boom. I went and grabbed my kids. <sighs> now... I'm about to go in and get this area right here that I forgot to get. I was looking at it while I was in the car like, ooh, let me get that. So, I got the kids from school, so y'all gonna hear some noise probably. DJ couldn't wait to get in it. Uh-uh, what are you doing? Say hi to YouTube. Hi. How was school today? Good. So yeah, I felt it, and that's why I got a bad day. He fell and got a boo-boo at school today. Hi, guys. Hey, Neron. How was school today? Good. All right, y'all. So I'm about to, I fixed that. Look, why don't we shoot the door, Cal? Cal didn't let him in, you did. So now, we doing all the nails besides the thumb. We leaving the thumb out because the thumb sits sideways and you want to do the thumb by itself because you don't want anything to run. Last time I went too close to the cuticle, so this time I'm gonna try to stay back a little bit because it's gonna start sliding back there anyway. I'm gonna lightly foul because with this stuff, it comes off 
really harsh, so you don't want to over foul this stuff. Really? <laughs> Y'all, he hate when he mess with me. He gets acting crazy. I like to taper the tip just to get that shape back. And yeah. These are the nails shaped and filed. This is really cute. Like. Really, I'm gonna polish this. Oh, okay. It's more like a see through, like, nude. It's really thin, which is cool. Let's see how this turns out. I'm gonna do one nail and then go from there. I kind of like that. That's really cute. I'm loving this new, like, I can really just rock this and be okay. This is giving like, oh girl, sexy date night type of vibe. But we're going to go ahead and go in with 4D gel. So guys, the 4D gel that I have, I have, oh, this is a mess, sloppy. I have um, different colors. I don't have clear. So we just gonna use what y'all girl got and work with it like that. So I'm gonna use a sandwich bag and I'm gonna get my gel brush back out. All right. So now we gonna get some of this gel. This is, like I said, it's 4D nail gel art. And what we're gonna do is just like kinda make a, a snake. I'm gonna make a snake. I'm making a camera move by doing this. I need to do it softly. We're making a rope. Matter of fact, let's call it a rope, okay? You wanna clean the tacky layer on your um, polish off, your gel polish, because it'll start like sinking and melting into it and sticking real bad and i just noticed that i ain't like that so we gonna redo this okay and you want to make sure you lay it right because if you don't you won't get the look that you're looking for. You don't want any type of indentions in your rope. So make sure you lay that oh, correct. Oh, what else you doing? Really, DJ? I just see what else you doing. You doing pig nails? Huh? No. Then what else you doing? So I'm kind of flattening the sides a little bit. I'm flattening that a little bit because I kind of don't want that to stick out. So if you got like a wax, a wax stick or something, it. use that it to kind of fix whatever imperfections you have. So cure that. You want to do one nail at a time. So that is hard and done. Now I'm about to go in with the next one. All right. What you looking for? No, you see, I was looking for. Mom, eat, no, you eat, eat the rest of your chicken. My tummy full. Well, then you don't need no chips until you finish your food. Okay, so I'm pissing my tummy. My tummy's got a hole. 
Ah, it's sticking to my finger. Now I gotta redo it. See, this is why you should wear gloves when you do this too. Because I'm talking to them. <laughs> because it'll stick to your finger. I like this stuff better than using acrylic when you're making 3D stuff because it's like playing with Play-Doh. And your girl used to love the little Play-Doh stuff we used to have at school. And you uh, burn it in the, um, what you call it, a, a Kindle? Kim. Kim. Yeah. I forgot what it was called. I really forgot. But, yeah. I used to make all type of stuff in art class. I got a couple of art pieces that I want to show y'all. That's at my mom's house, matter of fact, that I need to get. That is cute. I kind of don't even want to put polish on top of this, but we're going to keep working. We're going to keep working. So I'm just going to do different designs on different nails. So we're going to put a pumpkin on here. Oh, it's not trying to lay right. Hey, y'all, he funny. Okay. Uh, or is that the balance? Yes. So that's what you learned to do. <laughs> Show me how my pinky look. Like this. <laughs> I was wondering why you was holding like this. Oh, I probably hold like a regular pencil or something. Yeah. That's how the glass you steady. Yeah. Yup. Pretty much. Nail tech, sinking and strong, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say, Bree, Bree. Y'all, it's getting a little dark, isn't it? Can y'all see? I tried to do it, get as much light over here as I can. So we about to go over the line wreck. Oh, I gotta check. Oh yeah. I kind of like it like this though. Only if the pumpkin wasn't there, but that is cute like this, to be honest. Like I ain't gonna hold you. Ooh, this will go so good with one of them rope jeans. Them, that outfit. Y'all ever seen them jeans with the ropes on it? Set the outfit off. <laughs> I like those it's jeans. Like DJ, goodbye. This being That's cute. not being good. Going, getting, go. That's what's being good. Go? Yeah, go in the round room. No, that's not being good. Because it's a cheese. Yeah. That's really big. Yeah. 
That's what it is. But I need to do, I need to do cheese. DJ, okay, move. I'm trying to finish my video. So, y'all, this is the pumpkin. I'm just going in with the orange. This is a different polish from a different company. Yeah. I know I was supposed to yeah. stick with Rossland, but yeah. I didn't have an orange, yeah. and I decided to do a different uh, design, yeah. so I have to use this color. DJ, um, gone. Yeah, sure. I'll tell you my truth. Good. Bye. Right, I'm at the whooping. No. So now I'm just taking my brush, just going around it. With the brush. <laughs> All right, gotta clean my brush off because we're gonna go to the next nail. The next nail we're going to do maybe pink. So we just gonna. Repeat the same process. I have to find a brown so I can do the stem of that. And then we go be done with these. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Should I use a dark or a light brown? Gosh, she's flail. Okay, boom. Now we need to go in with the top coat. Okay, y'all, I'm done. The nails turned out so cute. I'm gonna put the video on there so y'all can see the ending results, y'all. But if you like this set, make sure you put, mm, mm, what kind of emoji? Cause last time I had to do a diamond for my last video. What kind of emoji you gonna put? For a pumpkin emoji, put a pumpkin emoji. If y'all like this set, put a pumpkin emoji. And make sure y'all give this video a big thumbs up. But I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Thank you.